So this question is a diagram question. We see our scatter plot provided for us here. Um, the question says the scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, x and y. The question goes on to say which of the following equations is the most appropriate linear model. So linear model always means y equals mx plus b for the data shown. So because we know it's y equals mx plus b, I'm going to think first of all about, well, what would be an appropriate b value? Our b value represents our y-intercept. If I were to draw a line of best fit for these data points, it would look something like this. You know, it's not going to be perfect, but it would look something like that. Um, maybe more like that, actually. So because there's some variability here in how I draw my line, I wonder, I wonder if that makes the answer a bit easier to find. Um, so as you can see, I drew it two different ways. I like the first way, but maybe the Maybe this way is a bit better for line of best fit. At any rate, oh, it looks like my y-intercept is going to be at least 10 at the high point, no lower than 9, so up in that range. Looking at my answer choices, I only see one answer that has a – I'm sorry, not that one. <laughs> Let me put things out of order for me. I only see one answer where my b value is up where it should be. Actually, for choice d, I also see it there, so 9.4. Is there it should not be a 0.9 so a and b are gone so just based upon my b value i've narrowed it down to choices c or d now in terms of my slope i should be able to tell whether the answer is correct based upon whether the slope is positive or negative so a negative slope goes down and to the right a positive slope goes up and to the left so we obviously have a negative slope here right we're going down and right to get to our points here so our slope, our m value should be negative, and the only answer that gives us a positive y-intercept where it belongs and a negative slope is choice D.